Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and this is the second video uh, in the series of videos on microbiology uh, in my previous video I've told you that microbiology is a specialized area of biology that deal with the uh, living things that are too small to be seen without magnification and I've told you that uh, it started with the uh, discovery of the uh, microscope by the Anton in 1675 and uh, these microorganisms they are collectively known as the microorganisms the, or the microbes uh, or several other terms are used depending on the purpose uh, then i've told you that microbiology is one of the most complex of the biological sciences because it deals with many diverse biological disciplines uh, but besides studying the uh, micro the history of the microorganisms it deals with the uh, microbe human and the microbe environmental interactions uh, focusing on a variety of the subjects like the genetics metabolism the infection disease and many more uh, then uh, we were focusing on the applications of microbiology and i've told you that there are a variety of the uh, applications of the microbiology there are some prominent areas of the microbiologies that are heavily based on application and we discussed about the immunology which actually studies the system of the body defenses uh, that protect against the infection and we focused on the serology and the allergy in this particular video i want to focus on another important application of microbiology and that is the public health microbiology and epidemiology so first i'm going to focus on this uh, public health microbiology and then on the epidemiology so this uh, public health microbiology uh, that is that spins the fields of the human the animal food water and environmental microbiology and the focus of all of these fields is on the human health and diseases now, uh, this uh, public health microbiology, it requires like uh, important uh, members uh, in the public health microbiology. For example, it needs uh, laboratory scientists, it needs epidemiologists, and it needs clinicians. And what they collectively do is that they generate, they integrate, they analyze, and they communicate epidemic intelligence what i mean by the epidemic intelligence is they they want to know how they can control a particular disease how they can reduce the number of incidents of that particular disease now the aim of all of this stuff is to control the spread of the disease in community uh, so if the laboratory scientists the epidemiologists and the clinicians if they are working together they have got a single aim and that is to control the spread of disease in communities now, uh, when you talk about these, uh, we can say laboratory scientists, the epidemiologists, the clinician, they need some sort of uh, platform uh, where they work. So the principal US and the global institutions that are involved in this particular concern of controlling the spread of diseases in communities, they are the, uh, the first one is the United States Public Health Service. They usually work in the uh, United States of America. Then you have got the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, another important platform that is concerned with the control of the spread of diseases in the communities. Now the CDC, that uh, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, that collect information on disease from around the United States, and they are going to publish it in a weekly newsletter, which is known as the Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report. And the third one, the World Health Organization, which is actually the medical limb of the United Nations, it is involved to control the spread of disease, to design strategies across the globe. Now, when we talk about the epidemiology, so epidemiology studies the causes and effects of health-related events as they occur in population. So epidemiology is basically focusing on health-related events by focusing on the causes and the effects. Now, uh, one of the important health-related events that the epidemiologists they focus on is the disease. So if you define this disease, it is actually the deviations from health or deviations from the uh, normal health. So disease is actually one of the major concerns of the uh, epidemiologists. And so epidemiology is often thought of as the study of disease in population. Now the information compiled by the epidemiologists, they actually provide the foundation for the concept of the public health. Public health simply means when you focus on the health of the public. 
So the focus of the public health is to prevent and manage diseases, injuries, and other conditions that threatens the uh, human health. Now, keeping track of the number of the people who acquire or have a particular health-related conditions that actually guides the uh, deployment of interventions, the distribution of grants, funding for research on a particular disease, and development of the public health policy. So the epidemiologists, they uh, study the cause and effect of health-related events, then that is actually responsible for designing the strategies to improve the uh, public health and design uh, specific public health policies. Now, there are two important measurements of disease occurrence and distribution. One is known as the morbidity. Morbidity simply means illness due to a disease. And another important measurement is the mortality, which is death due to a particular disease. So morbidity uh, that actually is uh, that actually is you can say referring to the illness due to a particular disease, and mortality is due to a particular uh, death due to a particular disease. So if you define them, so the morbidity of specific disease is defined as the number of susceptible people in the population that have the disease during a specific period of time and is usually expressed as a rate. So that is usually expressed as the morbidity rate. Mortality, on the other hand, is also expressed as a rate known as the mortality rate, and it actually reflects the number of the deaths due to a particular disease in the population over time. So uh, we will continue the discussion in the uh, next video, focusing on other applications of the microbiology. So if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and share it with your friends.